Okay, now the sun's starting to set. What's this over here? This is... Oh, Covinger residence. I already went through that one. As evidenced by the open door. Now, what is this over here? I have no idea. Deep well depository. Closed. There's a secure facility. Something, something, punishable by death. Something, something. Golden Sands Hotel ahead. Well, let's get inside before it gets too dark. Let's see, yes. Golden Sands Hotel. Talk about golden. Sheesh. Anyways, up over here is Scorpion Lounge. And in here is... Oh, you can play different songs. Nice. The library is down this way. Service tunnel. Well, we won't go through there quite yet. Let's see. It doesn't appear to be anything in the library. It just brings you back to the lobby. Bronze Suite 1. That's an interesting way to do things. Got a nice little window well there. Bronze Suite 2. I believe we need Gold Suite 3, and this is Bronze Suite 3. <clears throat> Let's see. Gold Suite 1. Where there is nothing. I'm not sure whether or not that is intentional. But there are no signs here whatsoever, and I know I didn't break them. Gold Suite 2. You must gain access to the Sandstone Theater. Travel to Little Fort and find a key. Read notes 22 and 23. Got more food and, and ladders. Anyways, 22 and 23. Diary entry by Warriants, written eight days ago. Finally, with my newly acquired diamonds and a few sticks I brought along, I've been able to forge a device powerful enough to destroy the Paragate. Now all I must do is locate a secure entrance into Sandstone Castle, where the gate is located. Once that is completed, I can travel back home and retrieve my beautiful child, who will step through the gate and experience a world of perfection and harmony. A world where no other man exists. But let's not plan for too far ahead. Anything could happen. The smallest, insignificant, most insignificant object could become a threat to my plans. So let's just ensure that these objects are silently crushed before they even have a chance to act. And now note 23. Diary entry by Warriants, written eight days ago. When I entered Sandstone today, I noticed a large abandoned theater located across from the railway station. After questioning a maid I found resetting my bed sheets, I learned that the theater closed due to the ceiling caving in during one of their regular nightly shows. I asked why the owners simply did not patch the ceiling. She laughed and stated that such a task would be much too costly for the theater was located below ground. Apparently the showroom is filled to the brim with rubble. Curious and ready to explore the theater in hopes of finding a cavern or tunnel leading into Sandstone Castle, I asked the maid who currently owned the complex. She stated that the owners could not find a buyer for such a wrecked, play, such a wrecked place, so they sold it to the bank for practically nothing. I was only able to mumble, mumble a few words of anger as the maid left the room. All of the banks across this land are owned by the Supremacy, so they are the ones who are holding the key to the theater. Good thing as an honorable employee of the Supremacy, I know exactly where to go. The outpost of Little Fort, located on the prairie edge, acts as the armory and vault for the supremacy in their banks. So if I find some way in, I might have a chance of locating the key. But then again, Little Fort is very heavily guarded. I am not sure what to do. Use the three ladder sections provided to get over the theater walls after you venture to Little Fort. So we have to go to Little Fort first. What's up here? Just a bed, and it is nighttime, so I will sleep. There we go. Back down we go, and let's, just for the heck of it, check out 3 and 4. I don't truly expect much of anything. Nope. Now, I thought his room was supposed to be number 3, not number 2. And there is nothing here. Okay. So let us get out of here. Actually, first, I want to see where that service tunnel entrance thingy-majigger goes. Oh, hold up, guys. I've got a call. Be back in a bit. 
Okay guys, I'm back and I'm like super extremely excited. I just got a job offer at the local Giant Eagle to work at the deli. Uh, it's not exactly a glamorous job or anything, but it's a job. And I have unfortunately been unemployed for the past almost six months now. It's been at least five months. So if you guys have been wondering why at all I haven't been doing vlogs or, or collection updates, that's why. I haven't had any money to spend. Uh, anything I've, I've, all the money I've had so far has had to go towards paying my student loans. Um, I'm still trying to find a different job because I don't particularly want to work in food again. But uh, let's see, this says, yeah, this is a secure facility. Stealing is a crime punishable by death. But anyways, uh, by the time you guys actually see this, I probably already have gotten a job. So you might even see a collection video by then of me doing a little splurge shopping and to uh, celebrate and everything, especially considering my birthday is coming up on Monday, at least at the time of this recording. I know <laughs> I'm just so excited I can barely contain myself. Anyways, uh, Deepwell Depository, Deposit Box H, Warriant's Rainer. A lot of paper. Uh, deposit box A, unclaimed. Let's see, Harrington Residence, Woodland Gunpowder Company. Uh, deposit box D, unclaimed. Grand Sands Hotel, Golden Sands Hotel, I mean, unclaimed. And Matthews Residence, we'll go ahead and take your arrows. You're all gone anyways. And I feel a sneeze coming on. I, I do, I do, I do. But I, I just, I, I can't help it. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm just bubbling up right now. Because it, I know it, it's going to suck working with food rather than even at a retail shop, which is where I, I would rather work. And I would much, much rather uh, work at a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, ooh, roof access, a, uh, in a video game studio. But unfortunately, I don't have the portfolio to... Uh, get a job in 3D art like I want to and I don't uh, yeah I don't have that kind of a portfolio yet I'm working on it but it's not there yet and nobody's going to hire me as QA because I live in Northeast Ohio where there is absolutely nothing going on with the games industry maybe a few indie developers but that is absolutely it Anyways, let's try to find that fort. Now, we've got Sandstone Castle over here. That is not where we need to go, I don't think. What we need is that fort. A little fort, Sandstone Castle. We want little fort. Sandstone Castle will be after the theater, probably. Anyways, we've got more empty houses here. We've got the Overland Residence. A lot of people living in that tiny little house. We have the Fle uh, Ferringson residence with more arrows and torches. Anyways, I haven't officially gotten the job at Giant Eagle yet. It's uh, contingent on a, uh, uh, a drug test and background search, which both of them will turn up nothing. Matthew's residence. Which is rather large. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, nope, empty bedroom. There we go. Ooh, gold ingot. There we go. And iron leggings. We'll go ahead and get that. Get rid of our uh, leather leggings. Get some of that food there. Let's eat it. Eat it all up. Anyways. We want Little Fort. That's got to be around this way. Is that that over there? Is that Little Fort? There's no way that's Little Fort. That ain't Little. Sandstone Castle ahead. Rather large. Not exactly well built, but what do you expect? This is more about the story than the buildings. Weapons are prohibited. Little Fort ahead. You must be registered personnel to enter Fortress. Well, too bad. However, this uh, building does look interesting. It certainly is a unique design. Anyways, let's go ahead and run down here. Big, long path. 
Let's see, what do we have? Facility closed, read note 24. Bloody and charred diary entry by warrants written seven days ago. Who knew that it would come to this? Who knew that so many would be slain by my hand? Who knew that things would work out so perfectly? Yesterday I set up an account at the Deepwell Depository and managed to sneak into what was not mine in a desperate attempt to find a key. After a quick glance through many of the deposit boxes, I found something I had certainly not set out to discover. A staggering amount of black powder. I snatched it all up and stuffed each bag of it into my satchel. I then scurried back to my hotel room and started producing block after block of TNT. After I had used up every bag of black powder, I set out for Little Fort. I attacked in the night. I rushed through the front gate and up the stairs, lighting and dropping the TNT as I went. Violent explosions rocked the fortress as I made my way up the empty staircases. I could hear frantic screams for everyone to take their posts. I assumed that they believed this attack was coming from the outside, for when the first soldier met me on the stairs, he did not even stop to acknowledge my presence. So I continued forward, hiding the dynamite under my belt. Each man I passed took me as a fellow soldier, which enabled me to easily make it up to the highest towers where objects of value are kept. I quickly searched each chest in each tower until I finally came across what I had come for, the key to the sandstone theater. The frightened voices around me had begun to calm and confusion was beginning to settle over the fortress. I knew that if I were able to successfully escape, that I must create another distraction. So I lit a few more bundles of TNT and tossed them about the complex. Death came instantly. Some were blown off bridges and towers while others leaped in panic. I felt no pity for these men, only disgust. Disgust over the fact that this was the army of the supremacy. It was truly a pathetic sight. I leaped into the river and floated away without a thought in my mind. Find a way inside and then search for another key. Let's see. We'll go ahead and grab that. That'll take me back to Sandstone Station. We need to find a way inside. Let's see, you did go through the river, so yes, here we go. Floated down the river in order to escape, so that's how we get in. And there's a door here. With nothing but a bed. Okay. Can't open that door. Lava pit control. Ah, nice. That's now closed. And you, Mr. Zombie... What are you doing here? Come on, a little bit further. You know what? I'm going to shoot you in the head. Because you won't get out of my way. So, die, zombie. There we go. Made it across. Let's see. Nope, can't climb that. However, we can climb this, I think. Yes, we can. There we go. Okay, you can see all the damage from that TNT. Ah! Not good. However... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. Let's see, in here is a bow. No, 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 no. I don't want to go down there. Let's see, what I want... What I want and what I want and what I want... Arrows will be nice. Not what I was looking for, but those will be useful. No, nothing there. Read note 25. Ooh, more arrows. Anyways, 25. Note by infantry soldier Simon Newport, written seven days ago. We are being attacked by something we cannot see. Many of my companions have been killed or are missing, and my commanding officer is in a state of panic. So I have taken it upon myself to protect the precious items within these towers. I gathered everything up and made a daring climb up a tower that had been destroyed by dynamite. Once on the roof, I crossed one of the wooden support beams over the left forwardmost tower and had everything in the chest I had brought along. With the items now safe, I must get out of this place. Okay. So I have to get up on there somehow. Let's see. Here? Ooh, more arrows. Uh, no, not there. No. More torches, but that's not what I'm looking for. 